Hey, I'm here to talk about one of Zench's uh, most popular and unique features in a little bit more detail than we've gone into in the past. This feature is the pet and mount system. Uh, the thing that makes it most interesting is that you can capture more than half of the creatures in the world as your pet and mount. That opens up the possibilities for tons of different character uh, customization. So after you leave Kunlun Fairyland and you get into Mulberry Village, you'll be able to get your first pet and mount right away. Uh, you'll talk to Tammy, which is one of the NPCs in the center of the village, and she will give you your first pet. You'll be able to choose from a couple of cute dogs and a cat, and then she'll give you Devil Essence as well, which is the special food that you have to feed to your pets and mounts. Uh, if you don't feed them, they're going to not be happy. They're going to huddle back into their inventory and never come out again. So make sure to feed them. And you can feed them either manually or automatically. Um, you can use the feed button uh, in the pet inventory or you can uh, use the auto feed button that's on the pet, little pet window. You can also get your first mount in Mulberry Village. Uh, you'll talk to another NPC a little bit later and you'll get a donkey. And you'll have two choices here, either just a st standard donkey or a really stubborn donkey who really doesn't like people riding on his back, uh, so you'll end up riding backwards. It's just one of those little things that's, uh, that sets apart Zenshu from other games, is the, the little bits of humor in the game. The pets and mounts have a number of great features, but one of the most popular and most useful is autopathing. When you summon your pet, uh, you'll get the option to use this autopathing feature simply by clicking anywhere on the map or by clicking some of the underlying text in the quest log. That will draw out a line along the ground, a yellow arrow line. And then by simply clicking on the autopath button, your, your pet will lead you along that path. And of course, pets are born with an innate knowledge of all of the areas around Zensha, so they have no problem leading you around. And of course, if you summon your mount and you ride your mount along with the pet, you'll get there even faster. To access your pet UI, your user interface, you want to click on the pet button, which is down in the, the right side of your toolbar. Uh, this will open up the pet inventory window. And then by mousing over all the different areas in the window, you'll be able to get all kinds of great information like stats and skills of your, of your pets. So once you leave Mulberry Village, you'll arrive in Serene City and your flight will take you uh, straight to the Monster Hunter. His name is Monster Hunter Dave. Hmm, wonder where he got that name. Uh, you'll talk to him and you'll get your capture skill and your processing skill. These are really important for capturing pets. Uh, and fortunately, they don't count towards your two skill limit. Anybody can get them for free and you'll be using them a lot throughout the game. The capture skill allows you to capture the, the creatures in the game and use them as your pets and mounts, and then the processing skill allows you to turn the eggs into devil essence. Let's talk about uh, capturing. Once you get your capture skill from Monster Hunter Dave, you'll need to get a monster mirror. And you can get this from a couple different places. You can go to any of the merchants and purchase one, or you can also get one from the yellow gift boxes that appear in your inventory for free. So once you get one of these, uh, make sure to equip it. And then it's a good idea to put the, the capture skill into your uh, shortcut bar for easy access. Then simply go and find one of the nearest monsters. The, um, the wandering uh, goblin patrol nearby the, the monster hunter is a pretty good choice. It's a low level creature, uh, easy to capture and easy to kill. Uh, so just go up to him and start attacking him. And just keep an eye on the health bar. Once the health bar gets down to about 25% or so, you want to click on that capture skill and that'll bring out the monster mirror. It'll kind of look like a UFO trying to abduct the creature. Uh, and once the skill is finished, the, if you're successful, the goblin will go into your inventory. Now, it'll actually appear as an egg. So you'll need to follow a couple steps here. First, when it appears in your inventory, it'll appear as a, uh, an unidentified egg. 
Um, it'll show that it's a goblin egg, but it won't really show anything about it. So you'll need to take it to the nearest merchant. Um, there's a monster merchant right there. You can talk to him and have him identify the egg. That'll turn it into an identified egg, and it'll show uh, all the stats for that creature. Then you can decide if you want to keep the egg, or sell it, or drop it. But the best thing is that if you keep that egg, you can then turn it into Devil Essence using the processing skill. That is, if you decide not to keep it as your pet. So first, um, if you decide to keep the, the, the pet as your own, you simply right click on the egg and that'll hatch it and it'll go right into your pet inventory. Then you can summon the pet uh, and he'll start working for you right away. If, on the other hand, you decide to not keep the pet, uh, as I said, you can drop it or sell it, but uh, alternatively, you can turn it into food and you simply do that by clicking on the processing skill and then click on the egg itself and after a few seconds it'll turn into Devil Essence. And the higher the creature that you capture, the higher the level of the Devil Essence. And the higher level of the Devil Essence, the more uh, helpful it'll be in feeding your pets, especially high level pets. Now, to capture a mount, the process is more or less the same, with one major exception. Not all creatures can become mounts. You'll have to search for what are called demonized creatures. These are creatures that have a blue aura around them and will have the word demonized in front of the name. So you'll need to go and, and attack these. Now, the demonized creatures themselves don't actually become a mount, but if you attack enough of them, the um, boss version of that creature, called a king, will suddenly appear and start to attack you. Um, sort of like protecting his, his young ones. And so, and now this won't happen every time, but if you're lucky enough, it will. And now, then you'll want to attack the king and go through the same process. You'll, you know, get down, get his health down low enough and then bring out your monster mirror. And after that, uh, the process is the same. You can bring, uh, uh, identify the egg, uh, hatch it, and it'll go into your uh, mount inventory.